All right, what we're going to demonstrate today is CPM setup in and out with the patient. All right. Okay. Okay. Lauren, are you going to... Next thing I'm going to explain to Lauren... Okay. ...how to put this on and take it out of the All right. patient. So and BJ, what do we use this for? This uh, is basically what we use for uh, post of day one for total hip or total knee arthroplasty. Okay. Sometimes we also use it for uh, post of day one arthroscopic knee surgeries. Okay. Uh, it depends on what the doctor will put in. All right. All right. So Lauren, what we're gonna do is gonna what we're gonna displace the CPM onto the patient. So you might want to stand right here. Okay. Support that thing. Turn that knob counterclockwise to unlock. So we're going to turn mm -hmm. this this way. Counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. And then take the uh, CPM down. All right. Okay. <clears throat> now basically, you're going to have to lock this, this CPM into this position by doing that. Uh, you're going to do that by pressing this one down, watching for the patient's leg, make sure it's not, this, these paddles are not going to hit the patient's leg. So you're going to push it down until this thing snaps back down into place. Okay. So the little knob is right. even. So it needs depressed. To mm -hmm. yep. depressed. Mm -hmm. You can feel it's not moving now. All right. And PT would come in, correct, and do the first? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. in, on initial evaluation, we will set everything up. We will set the axis. Uh, to be aligned on the knee and the hip. So basically a nurse, what, what a nurse would do is if the nurse needs to put it on, uh, the first thing she's going to look at is the hip axis right here. It's like a little plus sign over here. Mm -hmm. And it will have to correspond to the uh, greater trochanter of the femur. Okay. Be the, that will be the bone, bony prominence led on the lateral aspect of the upper thigh. Okay. So. Uh, at this time, if the patient has an overhead trapeze, she can use that to kind of slide down mm -hmm. until you get that greater trochanteric area right there. In alignment, correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, if you got that in, as I said, the PT has already adjusted the knee. It should already be on the knee axis. If not, there's a way to kind of adjust the knee axis by way of twisting this counterclockwise, pushing it down, then lifting the thigh bar up as uh -huh. far as you can and, and just release everything. All right. Right there. And does the doctor give you the degree of access that he wants not, or is it pretty standard? Not really. Um, um, on our initial evaluation, we will try and measure the patient's knee, how much the patient, the patient can tolerate. Okay. And based from that, we can... Like, for example, on sitting position, we will bend the knee. If it can bend more, uh, around 50 degrees, then we're going to put the CPM on 55 degree setting. Okay. If not, if, the patient, if it's full of bandage and stuff and basically can't measure it accurately, we will start it at 45 degrees. Okay. All right. Now you got it to its longest position. Now you're going to turn this thing on. This is the settings box. So you're going to have... You have the settings there for flexion uh -huh. and extension. Okay. So you always want to put the extension on zero, and this will vary. You'll put it about 50. We'll put it on 45. 45. Right this time. Okay. okay. And this is the speed. Uh huh. The five is the uh, fastest, and one is the slowest. All right. And that's important for the nurse to know because a lot of times the patient will say, this is flexing too much, and we can call physical therapy, and they may say, okay, just lower the amount that the knee is flexing. And so then we just use that box and change the flexion a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to ask, ask Lauren to turn it so on. So you're changing this box for the speed, correct? Or, right. or the degree of flexion. flexion. Okay. But I, we always ask PT first if it's okay. All righty. Okay. Also to know, there's a on and off button here. Okay right underneath here. All so right. mm -hmm. when you turn it on and it's not responding, you want, might want to check on that first. Yes, that's great. So <laughs> go ahead and turn it on. Mm -hmm. so, okay. You know what? I unplugged it already. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's important. Always have your equipment plugged in. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> it's a good, good lesson. Old. 
Okay, so I'll try to turn it on again. There it goes. Okay. Okay, we're going to be Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now it's, it's important to film this one. It's, you're going to mm -hmm. wait until it fully extends down. Mm-hmm. Okay. And once it's in its full extension, I'll call you right back. Bye. You turn it off. It's also important to note that the patient does have a switch on and off button that is right beside him or tied on the bed rail. Okay. But this time we don't have it, so you can use that to kind of adjust the knee because you don't want to do this at the same time bending forward Correct. and doing this. Mm -hmm. So you can just put that on your right arm. Uh -huh. Now the way to adjust this knee axis is you push this down, the knee axis part, uh -huh. and the knob right here. So go ahead, Lauren. Just, just this one. Okay. Excuse me, sorry. Uh -huh and you turn the machine, once you turn it in, this is gonna move. Now I'm gonna stop it for a moment to kind of find out where the knee axis is. So most of the time the knee will be wrapped in real thick bandages so you uh -huh. won't be able to locate the lateral epicondyle of the femur which is the knee axis. Uh -huh. So what, you, what I usually do is I'm just gonna slightly flex the knee uh -huh. and find out where it is. Okay. It's gonna be right there and I will put some sort of a marker, like a pen, right here, kind of mark where the axis is. Okay. All right. Got it. Mm -hmm. Now, once you get got it, you're gonna turn it the machine again, and it will telescope up to that axis. So it's moving. It's gonna move. Yep. Mm-hmm. Where Lauren's left hand is, it's moving yeah. towards her, and it's now moved towards the pen where the axis right. is now located. Up with the knee. Now we're lined uh -huh. up. Great. You're gonna lock that thing. I just screwed that. Screw it. Mm -hmm. Screw it in. And you got it. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put the slings on. So what I usually do is put the leg sling or the calf sling on, and it should correspond to the bulk of the pal. I mean, you're a little bit more gentle with the patient that just had knee surgery. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when you when you clip that thing into the pegs, make sure there's a one to two finger breadth space between the pedal and the Correct. Strand. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Very important. Very good. And she's now doing it up to the upper leg? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And to the thigh. Right here. I need more. Oh, oops, sorry. And, and what did you do? You, sna you snapped it up there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, snapped okay. it into the peg. Now you can also loosen it up by uh -huh. strapping it and just... Got it. You know, one to two finger breads. And we got it right there. Now, now we we're going to put the foot pedal on. We're going to put the foot... Uh, off note also, this one, you can basically move this one up and down or towards the head or towards the foot of the foot uh -huh. by unscrewing this. Alrighty. Okay. So once it's in position, put on the foot. Do you put the it. foot in first? Yeah. No, no, no. We right here. Okay. Unscrew this right on the bottom. This this is a di different knob from any oh, other okay. knobs here because it's a lefty tidy. That goes in. Screw that in place. Okay. And then put the foot in. Make sure that the foot will be flat on that foot plate. There you go. Mm -hmm. And strap it in. And then put Great. the person strap. And then lock it down here. And that's Going left. to the left. Not righty tighty. Righty tighty. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. Now you're ready to start it on. So let's see a cycle what happens here. And you should always watch a couple complete cycles. Right. The physical therapy usually does this for you, mm -hmm. but you know a couple cycles will go and sometimes the patients call you back because it's starting to bother them. So it's important to make sure they have their call bill in reach before you leave. Mm -hmm. So that's 45 degrees right there. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to slowly extend. How's it feel? 
Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> is it comfortable? It is, but I don't have any knee pain. <laughs> <laughs> and how um, often does the patient uh, have this uh, exercise? Is it usually for four hours, one hour, two hours at a time for usually the first? Usually two to three hours in the mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. And then a break at meal time and lunch, and then two to three hours uh, in the afternoon. Okay. So a total of four to six hours. Mm -hmm. That's our goal. That's your goal, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And do they eat while they're in this apparatus? No, we, we usually take them off off of it during meal time. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very, very much. Okay. You want to want me to show you how to take it off? Sure. Okay? Yeah, just take it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait until it fully extends. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it off right here. Okay. Okay. Now, first thing you're going to take off is the foot component. Okay. You're going to unscrew this and strap this thing. Actually, nursing students may be doing this to and help the nurse. This mm -hmm. thing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And they take the whole thing off. PCTs can do this as well. Mm -hmm. And then stow this into a cabinet or a drawer. All right. Don't throw it away. Yeah, don't throw it away. And snap it this thing and snap same thing with this one then you're ready to take the CPM up you can do that by slightly pressing down on this thing here mm -hmm. and then turning this counterclockwise again mm -hmm. knob comes out and it will come up and wait until this one snaps back in mm -hmm. and then it's locked now together with these straps you will see this one. This is a, uh, another step to kind of secure the CPM into the bed. That's a good idea. So right there. So this, after that, you kind of gently lift the patient's leg, take these off, and strap them back into the CPM or put them back in. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you're not going to lose them. That's it. Great. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you all of you.